Welcome back to Let's Play Toho Mother! It's taken me all of one update for me to realize that... Actually, timing out the videos and trying to get 10 minute videos up up uploaded once every other day isn't gonna work. So I'm going to be uploading on progress, like I did in .hack. I'm going to try to keep the updates at respectably short. But at the same time, I'm gonna take it slow and kind of enjoy the game at my own speed. Now, the first thing is if you look back at the shrine here, you can check the donation box. And there's nothing inside. Reimu never gets anything in her donation box. It's a little sad, really. I wonder, how, I wonder just how she makes money, though. Nice job, Marissa. Oh, well, let's get going. Marissa grabbed us because she's bored, so we're off to go see Yuka, who's been who's out waiting in the sunflower field. I'll properly introduce her once we get there. Sunflower field to the left, forest of magic up, human village down. Aww. The human village, um... It was never actually shown in any of the games, but it has been depicted in a couple, um, official doujin-type things. The Forest of Magic is where Marissa lives, and not terribly far away from Marissa is where Alice lives. I'll also be introducing Alice later, I won't worry about it now. I'll buy it, considering you also destroyed the shrine. And it's Marissa. Now, funny thing here is if you're walking on the flowers, she won't let you in. Hey, Yuka, what's up? being a sunflower yokai, but also being one of the oldest and most powerful. There are very few yokai more powerful than her. She's also kind of slow. Physically, not so much mentally. Because she's power over everything. Power over speed, power over technique. So she isn't exactly quick. I actually kind of like Wriggle Nightbug. Supposedly, Yuka's actually quite fond of Riggle, and she shows her affection by beating Riggle up. <laughs> oh well, maybe we can go find something else to do. protective of her flowers. Heaven help you if you actually do damage to one. And Cyrano's not exactly bright. Our 
protagonists, everyone. End of your tutorial battle. This isn't a bad battle. Now you'll notice the battles work much like the battles in Mother 3 did. Up at the top, you have your attack. Bomb would be all your spells. You can guard and use an item. Reimu is generally a pretty well-balanced character, so she'll be doing... Well, she can do just about everything. Marissa, on the other hand, is our local mage. She doesn't have much in the way of HP, but she'll probably have the largest MP pool and attacks predominantly with magic. Yuka? We use Yuka here, and she's, like, way over-leveled for where this is, but we won't be having her in our, in our party for more than just this one battle. And I don't know if... Yeah, she doesn't even have any magic. She only uses physical attacks. The Watermelon Blades are actually a reference to Advent Cyrano, a fan doujin that was done, um... It's essentially Ad Final Fantasy VII's Advent Children, but with Toho characters. So... Oh, you didn't get to see it. Well, let's see if it happens again. Whenever Yuka criticals, it always plays a nifty little line. Oh. Oh. Oh well. For the most part, I'll be cutting out random battles, but I will show off unique battles and boss battles and whatnot. So, uh, there was Cyrano. And the fanfare from Earthbound. Now the dialogue at the bottom there is in the style of Mother 3, not Earthbound, which it took a lot from Mother 3. Oh well, let's go find something else to do. A meteor! Sorry, Serena. The Hakare border keeps everything out of Gensokyo. How would... Oh well. Let's go find out what it is! Quickly! 